Hey guys, Majeffrey's here and welcome to episode 13 of You Don't Win Anything With Kids. Uh, that is of course my career mode on Football Manager 2014 as Majeffrey's United. A um, couple of things before we get into the next match. Uh, I said I would skip out a game and I did against Dorchester which we won 2-1. Thanks to goals from uh, Drewson, who got the first, who then went off injured, and Thompson got the second. Uh, there was a late goal from Dorchester, but it made no odds because we'd won. Um, the other thing that I was going to say is we've made a couple of loan signings. Uh, you'll see here Daryl Flahaven, who we got from uh, Bournemouth on loan, and Harry Osborne, who we've just signed from Charlton. Um, these two players are coming in at a really good time for us because you can see we've got so many players on international duty or traveling right now um we need backup basically so Flahaven or Flahaven however you pronounce his name he came in to cover for uh all three of our keepers actually international duty or traveling uh so they were all out um and Osborne has come in because we had to have a couple of um lesser players that's really unfair to call them that but you know a couple of these guys here uh, they had to come into the, the squad. Uh, Fenty, you see he had another appearance. As does this guy, Gary Calcutt, who actually... I'm going to offer him a contract because he looks pretty good. He's got some uh, a lot of green going down his stats bar, which is uh, it's always nice to see. Um, so yeah, we are just about to play Concord Rangers at home, and I said I would show this game because it's a home game. Um, before I do that, I'm going to sign up. Malcolm Edgehill as well, I think. Uh, any news items we've got? Not really. Had a bit of a falling out with the manager of Dorchester as well, because I had one manager of the month um, for the month just gone. And also um, Carino had one player of the month, and the Dorchester manager said that I got lucky in winning that award. Nothing to do with the fact that I was, I'm actually a good manager or anything, it's just I got lucky. So, I said that I wanted my team to shut him up for good, and I think they did. Although he then technically came back afterwards and said that uh, I got lucky again. So, he's a bit of an arse, basically. Um, but we'll move on to more important matters of Concord Rangers at home. Uh, you can see Concord Rangers have had a good start. They're fifth in the league. Uh, and if they win, they go three points behind us. So, the first thing we're going to do is clear the squad. We'll have a look at who's available. Because I think, yeah, it looks like we're going to have to have Flahaven in goal again. Um, with McGee on the bench. Um, this is an interesting one. Because we've got a lot of players who aren't really at full fitness either, which is annoying. So I think uh, what we need to do is... Ooh, I'm almost tempted just to press quick pick and see what my assistant chooses. But I am going to do it myself. Osborne needs a debut. Let's put it that way. Uh, I think he should come in at right back. Um, Cartwright can play left centre back. Uh, Robinson? Yeah, Robinson at right centre back. And then who am I going to have at left back? I think, because Jones is away, maybe Calcutt? Your left back? That seems logical. Um, centre mids, we're going to have Douglas Pringle and. It's not easy. Thompson, maybe? Yeah, Thompson can play there, so I think we'll have Thompson. Well, I think we'll have these the other way around. Um, and then on the right-hand side, we should have Marshall. On the left-hand side, we should have Beckhold. Through the middle, we'll have Johnston. And then up top, we're going to have Keith Wilson. And on the bench, we're going to have Fenty, uh, Pryor, uh, what other positions can Betts play? Don't know. But yeah, I think we'll have to have him by the looks of it. 
and Drusen. So that should be all our bases covered. Let's go into the match. So this is more of a damage limitations kind of game, I think. Um, have we got specific instructions set up? Oh yes, quite a lot by the looks of it. Show on to weaker fur. Show on to weaker fur. Tight marking and closing down. Eh, fair enough. It's all automated. Again, purists might be wondering why I don't do it myself, but in modern football, a lot of managers tend to do things the easy way and give a lot to their assistants anyway, so I don't see the harm personally. So yeah, let's see if we can beat Concord Rangers and, and keep ourselves at the top of the table nice and comfortably. That's a really good ball from Wilson. Not such a great header there from Beckhold. I could see his idea, but it wasn't really uh, at the right time to do it, let's say, because Wilson hadn't made the run. Um, this is a real test for my team, actually, because if I manage to win this match, even if I win by one goal to nil, let's say, it just it goes to show just how strong my team actually is. Uh, and how deep, like how much depth I've got as well, um, and that you know that's a, a good springboard to to lift ourselves, you know, um, give ourselves more confidence. That's what I'm trying to think. It's a good morale booster. Marshall looks like a good player as well. He's sort of the opposite side of Carino almost. In that, uh, <coughs> obviously, they they both play a very similar role and they both play it very well. In the last game. Obviously, you wouldn't have seen this because I didn't record it. Marshall made a really good run down the left-hand side and flicked the ball across the box, which is what Drewson scored from. Um, and I'd wish I'd recorded that, just that one move, because it was such a good ball from Marshall and such a good run as well. Um, it's a shame that you guys didn't get to see it. But if I have Carino on one side doing that and Marshall on the other doing the same thing, uh, we got really good threats down both sides. Anyway, time wasting because not much has happened in this first half. It's been a bit of a, a boring one, really. Uh, it tends to happen from time to time. You get the odd match where nothing really exciting happens. Right, that's the first half out of the way. No changes for the second half. Thompson is a bit tired, but uh, it didn't really seem to affect the performance of the team as a whole, so we may as well just leave it going. Stadium looks a bit of a sellout. At least the seating area does. It seems to be quite full, so... Uh, that's also good because the money rolls in because of that. Um, I did get a board confidence update and we'd lost a bit of money, but I think that's more due to setup costs and things like that. Um, plus we've got Monty money bags in charge and he'll make sure we don't go in the red, so that's fine. And uh, we've got cheap wages and you know it should be it should be okay. It should be fine. I am gonna bring Cartwright off though because he has picked up an injury. Uh I'll put Fenty on. And I'm also going to put bets on for Thompson. Let's see if that changes it. It's a bit of a, a gamble again because you know these, these players were greyed out. They weren't proper first teamers on proper contracts, and that's always a risk putting them on because obviously their stats won't be as good. But at the same time, it looks like we need to put them on. So we'll see how they get on. Basically, uh, there's Marshall doing one of his runs again. He's played a good ball to Wilson. He's uh, Jinxed his way past one defender. A good strike away, but just over the bar. That's unlucky from Wilson. He did well to get into that position. Uh, Marshall did well to pick him out. Uh, I can see this sort of maybe snatching a goal towards the end. We've had 16 shots, but only five of them have been on target, so less than a third. Now Marshall's picked up an injury, which is fantastic. Uh, what side was he? He's on the right hand side, so yeah, we can just bring Drewson on. There we go, Drewson from Marshall. And that's our third and final sub of the match, so uh, hopefully all is well. Yeah, I was about to say someone else is injured, but that's Marshall, Marshall again, so that's fine. So yeah, let's see if Drewson can make an impact in the, the ten minutes that he'll be on for. Doesn't look like he will do, to be honest. Four minutes of injury time. This hasn't been a very exciting game, actually. I wish I'd recorded the Dorchester match instead of this one. Oh, dear. Oh, well. You're going to get the odd game. I said this in the uh, description of the, uh, the series, that you'll get the odd blip. I think I described it as heartache. A 0-0 draw to me is quite heartaking. And there it is. 
nil nil. I suppose that was the best result really. I had a fringe team and um well yeah, I had a fringe team, it really wasn't my strongest side, so I can't complain about that, I suppose we did okay. But yeah, it's a short episode this time. We raced through that last match, so uh yeah, I'll just wrap it up then basically. Once again guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, click the red box below. If you have subscribed, thank you for your continuing support. Uh, and until next time guys, I will see you soon.